Take a look at this exclusive surveillance footage. It shows a car spin out of control and then it crashes right into the fence outside of a home. You see the car there. Then the car takes off. Well, new at 5:30, Action News Jack's Beth Rousseau walks us through how neighbors helped to track down the driver responsible. And if you take a look down, you can actually see tire marks leading right on up to where that fence used to be. The owner tells me that his daughter normally parks right here. He says, luckily, her car wasn't here this morning. This series of surveillance clips shows a car speeding down Eve Drive, spinning into a fence. Then the driver takes off. Families say a neighbor chased down the car on Lloyd's Drive. I confronted the owner. How did some guy get your car? I was sleeping. The police came and knocked on my door. Fernando Nunez says he wasn't driving the car. He tells me his girlfriend loaned it to someone who hit the fence and knocked out this back rear window. Uh, insurance is just going to total it, I guess, because I'm a mechanic, so I looked underneath. The frame is bended. Neighbors pointed me in the direction of the man they say was driving the vehicle. We zoomed in on the surveillance footage so you can get a better look at his face. I found him right down the road. Why would you hit a fence and keep going? Why were you driving the red car in the first place? I'm a reporter, that's my job. Did police ticket you? Nunez says police are filing a report about the car and the fence. Uh, I haven't, I haven't spoke to the person that, and I'm sorry about that. I mean, I don't know if I speak comes, I don't know what to tell him, but I'm sorry about that. I'm requesting that report from JSO. Just as soon as I get my hands on it, I'll post any new details on the Action News Jacks mobile app. Reporting on the South Side, Beth Russo, CBS 47 Action News Jacks.